Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and I've got another one. All right, I couldn't find the listing for this one. I'm pretty sure I bought it on Amazon, and maybe Occium, um, but the listing that I found that I think it belongs to is a listing that's been taken down and for a weird vendor name of uh, Hudium uh, OB or Zero B. I'm not really H U D I E M M O B or yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, visually it looks the same. However, I can't go to the uh, the uh, the link uh, because the page has been taken down. So, anyways, um, this is it. It's another GGM electromechanical, and this time it's the um, it's got the rainbow LEDs, which is to say there are 32 LEDs, uh, half on each side of the of these two rings here, and they have four colors. So, four colors repeated four times on each side. <coughs> And happily, it's got a three-pin connector and a Molex D. Now, there's something weird going on with this fan because when I plug this in to the fan controller, we're going to have a little bit of a problem. The lights are are barely going to turn on. See. In fact, I can't. I can hardly see any of them on. I can see some green and blue lights on. So there's something weird about it. But if I plug it into the uh, the power supply with the Molex D, it's fine. I'll show you. Here we go. So. It's got quite vibrant, bright colors when it's plugged into the power supply. Looks really washed out on my screen, but hopefully it'll look right on your screen. So, you know, it's another kind of a mysterious fan that I don't know what to think about. I have no specs, really, for this fan. I just call it the Rainbow Double Ring LED Fan from Gigia Electromechanical. And um, other than that, I paid, I think, $8.21 for it. Um, uh, it's made in China, 120 by 25, 32 LEDs, four colors, like I said, 135 grams, uh, 11 blades, 100, and that's... There's not much else I can tell you other than that. It's a 35 centimeter fan cable, daisy chainable through the Molex and not sleeved, three pin DC plus the Molex. Not sure what kind of bearing, 12 volts, and the only thing less I can that I can tell you about this is the indications for rotation and flow are there. It turns in a clockwise direction. You get four screws and you get corner cushions. Hooray! And that's all there is to that. So, again, uh, this fan probably is a little bit better than the, the last one as far as, like, how much power it's got. But still, I would only really want to use this as an exhaust fan, if anything. Um, yeah, I just doesn't look good enough for um, intake or for an air, air cooler, let alone a water cooler. Thanks for watching.